Hello, I am Dr. Lynn Chambers and I am an atmospheric scientist at NASA Langley Research Center. I am also the GLOBE program manager at NASA headquarters. I started working with student cloud observations back in 1997 to support the NASA Clouds in the Earth's Radiant Energy System, or Ceres project, and have since conducted several studies using cloud observations from citizen scientists like you to look at how they compare to satellite observations. We've learned some useful things already about which clouds are hardest to see from space and how often those occur, and we're looking forward to the things we might discover from this Spring Clouds Challenge. So I'm excited to announce the top observers in this year's Globe Cloud Spring Data Challenge. Congratulations to the top observers per region. Sydney Fryer, the top observer for the Globe Africa region. Hari Krishnan PU, the top observer for the Asia and Pacific region. Arkadiusz Spilecki, Antonia Koyuncic, and Tibor Toth, who tied as top observers for Europe and Eurasia. Elio Cabral, the top observer for Latin America and Caribbean. Homa Hatan, the top observer for the globe Near East and North Africa region, with Zaifa Bari close behind, and Peter Telusti, the top observer for the North America region. I also want to give special recognition to the youngest observers who participated. We really appreciate both the schools and families who joined the challenge. We hope they have many years of observing ahead of them. You have all done very impressive work. I hope many of you will continue to use the Globe Clouds app to tell us about what is in your sky. Hello, my name is Marile Colon Robles, the Globe Clouds lead, coming to you from NASA Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia. I'm surrounded by NASA educators and scientists celebrating what you have accomplished. Because of your dedication in submitting cloud observations to us, We've received over 50,000 observations from more than 50,000 locations in 95 countries on every continent, including Antarctica. This is so exciting that we want to say thank you. <laughs> thank you to all the GLOBE schools for working hard during the challenge period to submit your observations. Thank you to the citizen scientists using the GLOBE Observer app to make cloud observations during your busy day. We are so grateful for your dedication. We hope it won't stop. We encourage you to submit cloud observations every day and throughout the year. We'll continue to send you your observations matched to satellite data. And as a special thank you, we would like to highlight the top observers per region as defined by the GLOBE program. Thank you again. Yeah.